You've got questions. We've got answers. Welcome to Ask the Experts on 570 News. Advice and tips from the people who really know. Uh, so we've heard some examples about uh, information being put out about uh, consumers, uh, consumer proposals being incorrect. Uh, I find it, I find that really interesting. So so yeah. let's kind of delve into, into that a little bit more. Yeah, I think I'd, I'd sort of predicate what I would say by, I think there is some innocent misinformation out there. I think, you know, there are... Uh, some people may be saying things about consumer proposals, options to deal with debt, that that is just simply an innocent uh, misunderstanding of, of what it is. Um, I, I think generally it would fall into three categories. If you're putting misinformation about something, it's either uh, an innocent mistake, it's either ignorance, or you're doing it deliberately. Um, and I think uh, it was along those lines that sort of uh, gave me the the idea for the concept of this show, really, to talk about some of the myths on, on proposals, was that... Uh, there was a comment I read on my uh, my Twitter feed from a celebrity that uh, uh, they kind of said something that wasn't necessarily 100% accurate about proposals. It got me worked up a little bit. So I, I kind of thought about, uh, you know, is there a, a lack of understanding about the rules and nuances about how a proposal works? So um, because a proposal isn't the right solution for everyone. And when you come to our office, as Ian alluded to earlier, if it isn't, we'll tell you. We'll, we'll explore all of your options. Um, and just because you might have heard that a proposal worked for one person doesn't necessarily mean that that would also work for you either. So um, uh, we often have people coming into our offices saying that, uh, you know, they, they've obviously talked to their friends and family. They've given them some advice. And uh, one thing we often hear is, uh, um, you know, they, they come into our office and say, oh, uh, yeah, I talked to my buddy Dave and he thinks I should just go bankrupt. Well, that's great. You know, it's great that you turn into friends and family for advice in terms of how to deal with your debt. But I think my response to that sometimes is, you know, first of all, let's see if a bankruptcy is the right solution for you. Let's see if Dave was correct. I'm, I, you know, I'm the licensed professional. You know, I can go over this. But to just rely on that advice is a little bit dangerous. It'd be like coming to me asking me for advice on how to get your hair cut. Uh, for anyone that obviously can't see me, we're on the radio. I'm <laughs> politically challenged, shall we say. So, uh, you know, my advice in terms of getting your hair cut would be, you know, get a pair of clippers and shave it all off. It's mm-hmm. easy. It works for me. It's great. It's cheap. It's inexpensive. And I think I look great. Um, you might disagree, but that works for me, right? So, so that's my advice in terms of how to get your hair cut. But for any females out there listening to this, they might think, well, gee, I'm not really sure if shaving my head is going to be the right option for me. So that's my point. What mm-hmm. works for one person might not necessarily work for someone else. Uh, so what was that tweet that got you uh, fired? Uh, <laughs> well, I, I probably shouldn't name any names on the radio, but it was uh, a comment by uh, a, a lady that has her own TV show, uh, something to do about uh, dealing with debts until you split up, shall we say. Um, she would mentioned something about uh, how uh, if, you, if you have assets, you've got no business filing a consumer proposal. And you know, I took a little bit of issue to that because one of the main benefits of a proposal is that you get to keep control of all your assets. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think her comment was just a little bit misinformed. I think the, the message she was trying to say was that if you have assets, then you probably should be trying to sell those assets and use the proceeds from the sale of the assets to pay down your debt. Um, but that's not necessarily the right solution for everyone. For example, if your asset is a $20,000 RESP that you've saved up for your kid's education, your first priority might not be to cash out that RESP to use the money to pay off your credit card. Mm-hmm. It's an option. It's a perfectly valid option. There'd be a lot of penalties to cash out the RESP if you're not using it for the kid's education. The government's going to take all its money back. Um, but there are alternatives. An alternative would be something like credit counseling or a consumer proposal, which would allow you to offer a settlement to pay back a portion of the debt to the creditors whilst at the same time retaining control of that RESP. Um, so again, I think the, the message uh, uh, I, I took exception to with Twitter is, uh, you know, ma- make sure that you're exploring all your options. Don't just listen to one person's advice. You don't know if that's an honest opinion, misinformed opinion, innocent opinion.